Good morning. Today's lesson is 4.1. Modeling ratios. Our essential question, how can you model ratios? The drawing shows five blue squares and one red square. You can compare the number of blue squares to the number of red squares by using a ratio. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities by division. So the ratio that compares blue squares to red squares is five to one, because there's one, two, three, four, five blue squares for every one red square. The ratio five to one can also be written as five with the colon and one. Let's investigate. Materials, two colored counters. You're welcome to grab some out of the box that's in the front of the room. Julia makes three bracelets for every one bracelet Beth makes. Use ratios to compare the number of bracelets that Julia makes to the number that Beth makes. Use the red and yellow counters to model the ratio that compares the numbers of bracelet to Julia makes to the number of bracelet that Beth make. So remember, for every three bracelets that Julia makes, Beth is going to be making one. So Julia makes three bracelets when Beth makes one bracelet. So the ratio is going to be three to one. Model the ratio that shows the number of bracelets Julia makes when Beth makes two bracelets. Write the ratio and explain how you modeled it. Well, it's going to be six to two because I added another group of three red counters and one yellow counter. I could have done, so if Beth makes two bracelets, right? So when she makes one bracelet, it's three. So when she makes two bracelets, it's six. She makes three bracelets, it's gonna be nine, and so on and so forth. How could you change the model from part B to show the numbers of bracelets Julia makes when Beth makes three bracelets? Kind of already gave that one away, right? So if you add one more group of three, red counters and one yellow counter, it's gonna be nine to three. Well, if I added, let's just say I added four. If I added four bracelets, then it's gonna be another three, so it's gonna be 12, right? So you just simply follow the ratio. For every one of these, it's gonna be three of these. Explain how you use counters to compare the numbers of bracelets Julie makes to the number of bracelets that Beth makes. Well, I'd use the red counters to represent Julie's bracelet and the yellow counters to represent Beth's bracelet. So for every three red counters, I would show one yellow counter. Generalize. Describe a rule that you can use to find a number of bracelets Julie makes when you know the number of bracelets that Beth makes. Well, multiply the number that Beth makes by three. Think smarter. How can you use counters to find many bracelets? Beth makes if you know the number that Julie makes, explain and give an example. Well, model the number that Julie makes with red counters. For each group of three red counters, place a yellow counter. The number of yellow counters is the number of bracelets that Beth makes. A possible answer, if Julie makes 18 bracelets, then Beth makes six bracelets. You can use the table to compare quantities and write ratios. A bakery uses one package box, packing box for every four muffins. Draw a model and make a table to show the ratio of boxes to muffins. So for every one, there's four, right? So draw a model to show the ratio that compares the boxes to the muffin. So there is one box for every four muffins. So the ratio is gonna be one to four. Complete the table to show the ratio of, of boxes to muffins. So there's one box for four muffins. So each time the number of boxes increases by one, the number of muffins is going to increase by four. So for example, over here we have one box, four muffins, two boxes, eight muffins, three boxes, 12 muffins, four boxes, 16 muffins, right? So each time we're increasing by the number four. What is the ratio of boxes to muffins when there are two boxes? Well, if there's two boxes, it's going to be eight, right? Oops, let me move this out of the way. So it's going to be two to eight. Write another ratio shown by the table and explain the ratio's response. Well, possible answer could be three to 12. There are three boxes for every 12 muffins. I could have said four to 16, or I could have kept the chart going. Share and show. I'm just going to do one of these. Write the ratio of yellow counters to red counters. Well, there's one yellow for every two reds, right? So my ratio is going to be one to two. 
I'd like you to do the rest of the problems on your own or with a small group, or I'm always there to help you if you need it. Good luck.